So this weekend is kind of bittersweet because it is our last weekend here in Nebraska as a family because Dusty is leaving with his brother Devin. They're going to be road tripping down to Florida with all of our remaining belongings that didn't get shipped in our pod. And I'm going to be flying with the kiddos. I've flown once alone, so I'm more confident this time around that I should be okay. So we're doing all the things. We're making sure to hit up our favorite restaurant tonight for a date night one last time. Tomorrow, my brother invited us to go with him okay. and Isaiah, little cousin Isaiah, to the Henry Dorley Zoo in Omaha. We're gonna plan on hitting the farmer's market. I've gotta grab a couple of baby things from my favorite kid and baby store, Paper Kite, here in town. So, like I said, just doing all the faves. Tomorrow we're gonna be spending time with our faves at my parents' house, but we're gonna hang out with them, make a good plant-powered feast tomorrow. Dusty's mom will be there. And yeah, we're just super lucky and blessed to have you know, such a tight-knit family here. So that's gonna be the hardest thing, is leaving all of them, but we are excited for this new adventure and to see where it takes us. And yeah, so we're just gonna share some of our favorite things here in Lincoln before we leave. So that little Prescott area is like one of our favorites. And I wanted to mention to you guys, because we get asked all the time, where do we get our kid and baby clothes and toys and all the things? So Paper Kite has all of my favorites. I love, love, love Riley and crew, Jamie K. Childhoods is really awesome, Zara Kids, but I would say Riley and Crew is probably the favorite. I also love Kid Wild Organics, so a lot of those brands have a lot of organic cotton materials, so definitely check them out. Feeling a little snacky. The fellas got their chocolate cake, so to speak, which is actually ridiculously healthy. Like, there's not a single bad ingredient in it. The frosting, a little more indulgent, but like I live on those lactation brownies, the superfood brownies, whatever you wanna call them. They're on our meal planner, linked below. Usually what I do after lunch, like I'll snack on a brownie like after dinner, but usually after lunch, I'll make my milkmaid tea, my lactation tea, and some source bites. So I've been seriously obsessed with these. I hide them in my purse. I hide them in my backpack when we're on the go. They sneak up in here in my tea cabinet. <laughs> so basically after a meal, I'll pop a couple of those. They are unbeatable because it's the perfect little like bite size, like post meal snack. They're vegan, vitamin infused dark chocolates. Yes, you heard me right. <laughs> so they have four different varieties, but my favorites have got to be the Glow Bites, which have 100% plant-based clean collagen. They're actually clinically proven to enhance like your skin's texture, moisture, elasticity. So that's pretty epic because you get to eat chocolate while doing it. They also have a B12 one. They're Hype Bites, which are great for energy. They also have one for hair, skin, and nails. And then another one that I like to take usually in the evenings is their Mood Boosting one. So definitely check out Soar. I will link it below with a special discount code just for you guys. We are at our favorite restaurant here in our hometown, Lincoln, called Blue Orchid. It is a Thai restaurant. I would say it's probably been 12, 13 years ago that Aaron brought me here for the very first time. I had no idea what Thai food was. I had no idea what vegetarian food was, and Aaron introduced me to it all. All of our best date nights have happened here. In fact, one night, there was this guy standing at the bar. He said, I'm a harbinger. He's like, I've never done this before, but I know right now, I need to tell you, you're gonna marry this girl someday. At the time, I was like, no way, absolutely not. Like, we're not even close to that. Sure enough, it's happened. Now we've been married for almost 10 years. We've got two kids. Here we are, back at Blue Orchid. Love it, favorite place. Gonna miss it. Yeah. Starting with a club soda and lime. So, Dusty and I were reminiscing about when I lived right across the street from this restaurant. So I honestly got carry out a couple times a week. And he's like, do you miss your old life? Do you like to reminisce about it? And like, the first thing I think about when I think about my downtown apartment is my bright red sofa. I had this super cool sofa that reminded me so much of Friends. I had a Friends framed poster in my apartment because that was like, my dream was to live in New York City and like live the life of one of the Friends characters. And I had four cats, four cats in my 700 square foot apartment. So a lot has changed since then. <laughs> so this is the Tom Ka soup with veggies added in. It's a traditional coconut based soup. It's so, so good. And then we got the Louis Swan rolls, which is just like a uh, rice paper wrapped 
roll with tofu in it, and it comes with like a jalapeno spicy dip that's super good. I got my favorite, a traditional Thai yellow curry with extra veggies added in and a little extra spicy. <laughs> yes, I brought my date stash and the mood source bites. <laughs> Friday night, feeling the mood. Shirley Temple. This song. Why would I ever run? You brought a new light. Whoa, 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 but that there's no mistaking. You're the only one. the downtown Haymarket Farmer's Market. We're gonna give it a quick walk through. Usually we go to the one out south, so we haven't been here in quite a while, but it's definitely a little gem that you have to stop at if you're visiting Lincoln for any reason. Sick of all the questions exploding in my chest and I Fresh Fruit Feast, the best little yellow champagne mangoes or Atolfo mangoes. Berries are in season, oranges are just coming out of season, so all the best stuff this time of year. Life is sweeter when I don't know. It's in the unknown that's a fine home. I rest my head in the desert. Okay, you guys, here's what we're bringing to the zoo. We've got a bunch of mixed berries. I'm in love and obsessed with these Brad's veggie chips. Then we've got smoothie melts for Liv. They're just little bite-sized treats. We've got scout bars for Max, and Liv likes those. My homemade superfood brownies, some pitted dates, apples. We've got homemade waffles left over, water. These are needing to get frozen. So I lift my hands to the God that guides me, to the one that finds me. Even in my darkest days, he walks beside me singing songs of freedom, always singing songs of life. And they're leading me out of the darkness and they're bringing me into the light. Hey, he never said it would be easy. No, he never said we would be safe. My hope, my hope, my hope, hope. The house is feeling very empty. We've got totes everywhere. One of the last things I just emptied out was our supplement cabinet. In the far back was all of our medications that are literally like a decade old. We didn't even realize we still had them in the house. Something for diarrhea, something for constipation, heartburn, anxiety, stress, tension, 
There's even antibiotics and all kinds of things that we literally haven't touched in years. So, kind of crazy to just see how far we've come. Okay, what are you chopping? A mega massive salad on my huge cutting board. <laughs> Dusty packed all the cutting boards, inaccessible. Still gonna try my darndest to have a rainbow salad, so here we are. So we just did our last neighborhood walk and Dusty and I alternated doing our last runs, went about four miles each. And now we're just doing our last swing, last hangout in the front yard. A lot of lasts today. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna miss Lincoln, Nebraska. There are no bad vibes leaving home. This will always be home. We'll be back often, I'm sure. Yeah. Family will come visit us often, I'm sure of that too. And you know, we've just, changed so much and done so many things. We were talking about how many things that we said we wanted to do that we actually set out and did. A lot of that comes down to prayers being answered and also just hard work being put in and staying the course and staying focused. Yeah, none of these things that we've done, writing a book, none of it has been easy. And it seems glamorous, but there's been so much blood, sweat, and tears poured into everything we've done from the adventures abroad to basically gutting this entire home. We went from ordering pizzas and drinking Bud Light beers while painting the interior of this whole house to hosting retreats in Costa Rica and cheersing to green juices and meeting people from around the world. So a lot has changed in the past eight, almost nine years of living here and I don't have any regrets. We didn't know we would stay here as long as we did, honestly. Like part of us said we could stay here forever but another side of us has always wanted to see the world. And so here we are moving to Florida and hopefully have lots of fun content coming your guys' way, but we will definitely be missing this house too. This, like Erin said, has basically become our dream home. We've done so much work from the roof to the paint to gutting the inside entirely. And it's been so fun. I've had the best of times and the worst of times, but we've had our children here and built our business here. Everything that you guys see here on YouTube and Instagram, you know, was thought up, dreamt up, and created here in this house. And it's definitely gonna be bittersweet leaving, but I feel so guided by God. I was praying out loud on my run just now, like I often do, mostly thanking God and asking for guidance and protection and all these things. Two nuns came out from around the corner on the bike path, and to me, you know, I wasn't looking for a sign or asking for a sign, but to me, it's like God is here. He's always here. In fact, I was thanking Him for always being here with us and guiding us on our journey these last few years, and that to me was a sign that God's still with us, and He's right there in front of us and leading the way, and I really feel like this is what's meant to be it. the next step for Aaron and I and our little family. So if you guys have any tips, tricks for moving across the country, leaving your family, moving with children, definitely comment below. We've had nothing but positive comments on Instagram where we are more active. If you guys don't already follow us there, stay tuned as we move in to our new house next week. Welcome to our new home. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 